It's boys water polo DVC action as the surging Wabonzi Valley Warriors host the Matia Valley Mustangs. Wabonzi looking to continue their hot start to the season. Tony Finch passes the ball to Jacob Henkel who whips it into the net to give the Mustangs an early 2-0 lead. Charlie Drohan looks for Matt Malik in front of the net. He scores and pumps his fist afterwards. More to come from the senior as it's tied at two heading to the second. Tyler Leslie feeds Yahia Eltuni who wastes no time putting in the goal. He's fired up after that one. At the other end of the pool, it's Malik to Drohan this time for one more and the Warriors lead 4-3 at the half. After a competitive first half, Wabonzi finds a rhythm. Neil Gupta lobs it in to Malik who guides it in and he approves of that play. Later, goalie Peter Bartson tosses it down the pool to Cameron Sensulo, who finds Malik again and somehow he's able to tap it behind his head into the net. What a play and it's 6-4 Warriors. Sensulo has it again, but this time he executes a beautiful lob shot as Yusuf Eltuni can't reach it. It's 9-5 Wabonzi at the end of the third quarter. Now in the fourth, Matia starts cutting into the deficit. Yahia Altuni puts nice touch on this pass to Tyler Leslie who turns and tosses it in. Great execution there. Then it's Yahia again waiting and setting up Gavin Bickner for the goal. The lead is down to three. Despite the attempted comeback, Charlie Drohan seals the deal with a huge late goal and the Warriors hang on for the victory over the Mustangs, winning 11-8. Our coach has a lot to do with it, you know, uh, he gives us the confidence we need to progress through the game and uh, we really uh, have been working on our stamina. And so I got in front of him and I was like, okay, so I see the ball coming to me and I, I, I don't know if I can reach it, so I'm just gonna try to reach as far as I can to get it and just fling it back, man. And went in, so yeah, it was awesome. 